um, to, to do your scaling. So, okay, so where we are right now in the project is you guys have done this part of it already on the vellum paper, and you've done this. I don't know if you can see this down here, but you have done this part here, your sketchy floor plan already, um, just to get an idea of where you want your rooms to be. Okay? So, um, so I already did mine. I'll show you briefly, quickly here, what it looks like. Where this is, I don't know if you can see it very well with my pencil markings, but this was my floor plan that where I did it. Uh oh, my little poster board here was going to fall down. Where I did it um, scaled here. And this took probably, this probably took me definitely more than an hour, maybe an hour and a half to get this done. So, and I think my, my poster board's going to fall. This was the one that I did. Like I said, it took me a little over an hour. And I just want to show you just a few things quickly. Um, right here, the, the, like the, oh, there goes my poster again. The wall between my dining room and my kitchen, I just have a single line right there because my dining room and my kitchen will have a shared wall. There's no hallway there. They're going to have the same wall. So I have to have a single line there. But now down here in between bedroom 2 and WC, which means water closet or bathroom, I have uh, a little hallway here. So there would be a hallway. This would be a door to come in. Here's my hallway going in between these two spaces. You guys have to use a 1 8 inch scale, I used a 3 16th inch scale. So it should be a little bit easier for you to see. So in any case, so here's our 40 foot square. Down here is going to be the front of my house. So anyway, so here is where I'm starting, the back corner of my house, which is going to be my dining room. And since I had 40 feet, I had decided that my um, dimensions were going to be, let's see, I have 15 feet by 15 feet by 10. So mine are 15 by 15 by 10. So on. You're going to use the 1 8th, which is right here. Your 0 is right there next to the 1 8th. And you're going to use the short lines. So actually, every line on yours 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, every single line represents a foot for the 1 8th scale. So that would be an easy scale for you to use. But anyway, so here I am back to mine, which is the 3 16th. And I decided that I was going to have a 15 foot by 12 foot dining room. So you simply, I'm going to do mine upside down. You won't have to, but where, because mine starts from the right, I'm going to do it that way. And you just, you put your scale, you put your zero on your wall, and you go out to the number of feet that your room is going to be, minus 15. So I just make a little mark on the 15 line right there. That's 15 feet. And take your triangle because you need your right angle. So you're going you're gonna to go back and forth between the scale ruler and the right and the uh, right angle, the triangle, constantly. So just take this and give yourself the start of a perpendicular line. Now I'm assuming that you're going to have perpendicular walls. That's not required. You could have different angles in there if you want. But mine are... Mine are... Uh, <laughs> can you pause it for a second? I could. You ready? All right, so here we are back again. I made, with my triangle, I made a right angle, I just started the line, and then you get this one back, and you line it right up, and you get this the right length that you want. So now I want a 12 foot wall right here. So I'm just gonna line up my, actually I'll line up my zero and my 12, which looks to be about right there. And I got my markers thick, so I have to give myself a little extra space there. No. All right, there we go. So, go to zero. Okay. And there we go. We're going to go back and forth, like I said. Of course, I have perpendicular walls. So that's. And I'm going to line up the triangle to my wall. Then I'll take my corner, cut the corner here. Actually, I'm just going to go ahead and draw the whole wall. And I'm going to check it with a compass. So if you have a compass, you don't need a compass for this project, but I like using it because then I can tell quickly. A compass shows you the distance between two points. So I can quickly open my compass to the right length for one wall and then just check it on the next wall to see if I have, if I did it correctly. Very good. Okay, so my first room is drawn, and that's how you proceed. You're going to go all the way around the perimeter 
of your floor plan, just with your with your um, scale, with this, and just keep going. So, oh, and I should label this too. Okay, so let me label this. This will be my dining room. All right, and this one, I'm going to put the horizontal dimension first. I'll call that the width, and that's a 15 foot width by 12 foot. And underneath that, you should multiply those two numbers together to get the area of this space. And so if you multiply 15 by, by 12, you get 180. And then I'll put SF, which means 180 square feet. So I'm done with that room. I'm going to go in this direction, and I'm going to do my next room. Now, and then my breakfast nook is right here. Here, I'll show you. If you can. I hope you can see it here. It's a little bit, again, it's sort of light with pencil drawing. But my cabinets go like this. This is a little island. There's my kitchen. And there's my breakfast nook. So I'm just going to go ahead. I'm not going to draw the cabinets right now. I really have no walls in here whatsoever until I get to the end of the breakfast nook coming out this way. So my breakfast nook is it's actually 9 feet. I said 10. I actually kept the thickness of the walls uh, in mind already. You guys don't have to do that yet. So... Um, that's why my numbers are a little different. But anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come. I'm going to mark my space, my first wall coming out this way. Okay. So that's a 13 foot wall. It's pretty simple. I mean, 13 feet away. All I need to do is go to my. You really should use pencil. I, I erased the first time I did it. I erased a lot. Because I didn't like the way things were looking. But let me get my 13 feet right here. And then I'll grab my triangle. And I'll just give myself a start. And then I'll go back to my scale. And I'll finish. And I want to come out 9 feet. So I'll just line up my 0 on my scale. Line it up so that it's nice and flat against my start line. And I will go to 9 feet, which is right there. That's my next wall. Okay. And then I'll turn the corner. And so on. And that is how you will proceed to give yourself your rooms. Just going back and forth between your triangle to get your right angles and your scale to get your feet. And so I'm not going to finish this, this floor plan right now. I just wanted to give you the idea. Um, because we're using pencil, we will erase to do our windows and our doors and all that kind of stuff later. Uh, just get this much done. So that's it. Good luck. If you have any questions, just ask me at school. And we will do this again uh, next time. Bye!